In the world of royalty, there are some individuals who effortlessly captivate the public's attention with their impeccable fashion sense. One such personality is Princess Catherine from her elegant gowns to her stunning ensembles. She has managed to steal the spotlight and become a fashion icon in her own right. Through her clothing, parenting techniques, lifestyle choices, and more, the Princess of Wales often pays subtle tributes to her beloved family members. This video will focus on the subtle tribute Princess Kate made to her children that everyone totally missed during her latest appearance on Royal Podcast. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis were clearly on Kate's mind as she made a surprise appearance on Mike Tyndall's podcast. Amongst the excitement of Princess Kate's surprise appearance on Mike Tyndall's podcast, at the weekend, there was a small and very sweet fashion detail that everyone missed. Along with the elegant, form-fitting blazer, cropped navy trousers, and white top she wore, the Princess of Wales wore a new necklace the Daniela Draper. Three-star necklace she wore featured one delicate star for each of her children. Kate is a big fan of Daniela's jewelry and has several other pieces, including a gold citrine treasure necklace and mini Cupid hoop earrings, which were her go-to for Zoom calls back in times of lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic. How sure can we be that the stars symbolize her children? Well, it's well known that Kate loves to wear symbolic jewelry, and she has several engraved with, or bearing, her children's initials, including one by St. Martin's graduate, Daniela. How sweet! The fans can see that the Princess of Wales is known to pay deliberate tribute through her style choices at formal events. While Princess Kate has been part of the patriotic procession each year since marrying Prince William in 2011, when the event was scaled back greatly due to the COVID pandemic. Trooping the color. 2023 is special as her first as the Princess of Wales. Princess Kate looked the part in a green dress by Andrew Jean and matching hat by Philip Treacy. Jean is a fashion designer from Singapore, and Kate's choice was a clear nod to her husband, Prince William's Earthshot Prize, which will hold its third awards ceremony in the Asian country in November. Green also nods to her colonelcy of the Irish Guards and one of the colors of the flag of Wales. Meanwhile, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. In red at this event, the Wales family had an ultimate display of flag dressing. Kate completed the look with sapphire and diamond earrings that previously belonged to Princess Diana, a rewear from last year, and pinned on the Irish Guard's special gold shamrock brooch. Kate's latest look is a confident affirmation in her power dressing parade since becoming Princess of Wales in the fall, which Holt describes as a whole new mindset. She was on top form as she took part in the newly released special episode of Mike Tyndall's podcast, The Good, The Bad, and The Rugby, which he hosts with fellow rugby star James Haskell and presenter Alex Payne. The royal mum and her husband, Prince William, joined Princess Anne to mark the start of the Rugby World Cup. It was a show full of amazing anecdotes for royal fans, who learned more about how the royal kids are taking after their parents in inheriting their love of sports and their competitive streaks. When asked whether Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis were picking up the competitive nature of the husband and wife team, Princess Anne shared her thoughts saying, just a little bit, I think. Princess Kate added, they're all of different temperaments, and as they're growing and trying out different sports, it's going to be interesting to see how that grows and develops, 